Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again, and we're doing a live stream today for no reason other than we haven't done one in a while. Let me get this uh, put out live. Now, I'm experimenting with the slow mode thing for the chat, so we'll see if it works. It says, when will this start? Now, hopefully it... Uh, oh, oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Uh, let me put this out on Twitter. Uh. All right. So theoretically, this should make it easier for me to actually keep up with all the questions and everything. We'll, we'll see. I am... I am skeptical. How's your Sunday? My Sunday's doing fine. Other than my wife was, uh, <laughs> my wife was going through and cleaning the horse blankets and stuff like that. And she put up a iron pole to let them hang from and took them down. And I walked outside, walked right into it and wound up going down the steps. It was mildly entertaining. Timothy Fee, what is the mission today? We really don't have one. We just haven't done one of these in a while. So figured we'd go ahead and do it. What's your take on the People's Party that's attempting to be formed as an alternative? Okay. Um, it all, all depends on what they do. Like the platform's cool. Um, the people behind it are cool. And uh, I mean, it, it seems like it could work, but they have to build the ground game now if they want to have a chance in 2022 or 2024. They have to start now. Uh, thank you, Rocia Luna. A person from Oklahoma. What kind of horses do you have? They are painted. I don't know all the terminology. They're painted quarter horses. Um, their names are pirate and casey i i don't know what the, i don't know the specifics of the breeds um got your evolve hoodie today cool man walks into a bar should have seen it coming right <laughs> yeah that was uh that was something else I, I mean even the dogs were looking at me like what is wrong with you <laughs> uh what color did you paint your horses? Uh, white and brown. White and brown. Podcast in the future. So all the, the audio is uploaded, and it's on Spotify and all of that stuff. We're going to start doing longer content and doing interviews, and we're putting together the questions for one I think people are going to really like. It's somebody I've been trying to get to come on for like a year. Um but thank you, Flip the Twisted Dragon. I have a curious what your dogs are. Uh, a German Shepherd and a Husky. A German Shepherd and a Husky. The, uh, what was I saying? Oh, but yeah, we're, we're setting up. There, there may actually be some other changes that y'all will notice. We're, we're getting a lot more infrastructure put together. So we will, uh, you may even see a location change. The shop may look a little bit different. Uh, thank you, Kevin T. I think Space Force has to be eliminated. Do you agree or what's your opinion? Um, I think it's redundant. I I, I, I think it is redundant. <laughs> the, uh, the overlap between the Air Force and NASA, it, it's always been there. They, I, I'm not sure that it's necessary at this point in the future. Are we going to need a dedicated uh, defense mechanism for space? Probably, but I don't know that we're there yet. Either way, I absolutely refuse to call them guardians. That's just not happening. They're going to have to choose another name. Uh, thank you. Oh, darn. Have you checked out Jeb the gardener on YouTube yet? I haven't. I haven't. Um, we love the shop. Please don't go too glossy. Oh no, it's just going to be a, <laughs> you'll, you'll just have a different view. <laughs> it, it's, it's still going to be in a, in, in a shop. <laughs> um, 
So that, don't don't worry too much about that. <laughs> Thank you, Julie Crabble. Looks like TC keeps doubling down. Is the Republican Party now anti-military and we won? I don't know. Cernovich got really mad at me yesterday on Twitter because, I mean, he, he wound up calling to cut the budget in half for DOD over this. And I'm like, do it, please. Um, the uh, Now, in all fairness, in the past, he has advocated cuts. But right now, they're doing it out of anger. And I'm hoping that maybe – it, it actually sticks because regardless of how you feel about the military, even if you feel that it is incredibly important and we have to have it, its budget is bloated. So uh, thank you, Dave Plowden. Let's see. With it seemingly, with it seeming that more Republicans are publicly backing Trump every day do you think mcconnell overplayed his hand no i think mcconnell is playing the long game i, I think that there's a lot of people who are going to be in, in for a rude awakening in 2022 if biden's strategy plays out there it's going to take the republican party a long time to recover from this so thank you zhang li Thank you, Amanda Johnson. Will Trump do time? I find that really unlikely. I mean, theoretically, it's possible because of like all of the crimes that, <laughs> that he, he may have committed. Um, but I, I still think that the, the, the desire to protect the institution of the presidency means that even if he's convicted, I don't know that he'll do time. Like, I don't think he'll go to prison. Um, now, a lot of his team, some of them, their smartest move right now is to walk into a federal prosecutor's office and just confess to everything because they're going down and they probably want to do federal time rather than state. Um, Florida man here. Talk about the giant confederate flag on i-75 yeah that's the other part of the state for me um but i know the one you're talking about i've seen it, <laughs> it it's i i'm not surprised it's on private property there's it's just giant uh, and if y'all don't know this is huge it is huge um i don't know that legally there's anything anybody can do about it it's from my understanding is it's on private property and it's within all the regulations, but it is massive and it is visible from I-75 and people have to see it every day. Um, I know the one you're talking about and it, I, yeah. Keith Davies. Thank you. Forrest L. Thank you. How often do you respond to Patreon messages? Uh, I try to go through on the weekend. Uh, that's my, inbox from all of the the stuff runs uh i don't know probably four or five hundred messages a day from different people and i try to get through them all i, I don't patreon is a priority and it has a, a set day to try to get through it i'll be going through them later tonight um so if you have something that is important send it again now <laughs> so it'll be at the top of the box um considered you part of my tether to sanity <laughs> living out here in MAGA country these past four years. Oh, that, yeah, I feel you. Hot dog, a sandwich. Yes. James, thank you. Turtles always play the long the game. They do. And that's what he's doing. He's getting in his shell and he's waiting and he's watching people make mistakes. And I also think that he, I do know that he's already opened up his door, his escape hatch. If, if things go wrong, he's just going to leave. So he doesn't have to care if it works out. Um, uh, Nigel P, what's your take on certain states letting you run into protesters over illegal or illegal to insult police officers also? T-shirt contest. T-shirt contest is there. That's running. Like the 
all of that stuff has been sent to the people that decided I didn't want to be the one to decide. <laughs> um, I did a video on Kentucky's law about insulting cops that went out yesterday, I think, maybe the day before. Um, as far as the whole running into protesters thing, it it's not going to stand for long. The second it works the other way, people are going to be really upset. And the whole concept of it doesn't make sense because most of the states that have enacted it, they already have self-defense laws that allow you to do pretty much whatever if you're in fear for your life. Codifying it the way they've done, it's I don't think they'll hold in court and I don't think uh, it'll play out the way people do. A lot of kind of the way stand your ground has started playing out now that they fixed it. People think that it means they can go start something and then claim self-defense and those felony murder charges are kind of making them making it very clear that that's not how it works. Um, that was never the intent of it. And it was just a poorly written law. So okay. Let's see. Thank you, Bose Einstein. Would GOP suffer for voting against popular bills? I think so. I think that they're going to have a whole lot to answer for, and they're establishing the record of voting against them, and a lot of them expire before the midterms, the provisions of the bill. So they're going to have to convince people that they will now vote for something they voted against in the beginning because people are going to like a lot of this stuff, particularly the, the tax credit. Uh, thank you, Salini. Otis B was the 1.9 billion stimulus package majority good or majority bad for the American people? And can you can explain why? Yeah, I think it was good. This, the overwhelming majority of this went to stuff that is going to impact average people rather than the corporate overlord people. Um, uh, the tax credit in particular is really going to help a, a lot of people who are on the, who are on the bottom of our society right now. Um, it works out a whole lot, uh, a whole lot better for them. If, if you have kids and you are low income right now, that tax credit means more to you than you may know if you don't know how it works, because some of it you will be able to collect monthly because they know you're going to get a refund on it. So it kind of works out like UBI. Since it's St. Patty, next traditional Irish music or American Irish rock punk, such as Dropkick Murphys. Um, I like them both. I like them both, to be completely honest. I grew up on a lot of older songs that are not appropriate anymore. <laughs> um, the there were, there were a whole lot, for those that don't know, there's a whole lot of traditional Irish songs that reference certain groups that today are um, militant organizations that are don't have a wide range of popular support. Um, but they are mentioned very prominently in a lot of those songs. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Jolly Jack. Had to quit Patreon for a bit. Keep up the show. Bonus 13-year-old daughter has requested to listen to you several times. I, I throw this out there every once in a while. I understand everything that's going on. If you have to drop out of Patreon or whatever, I you don't owe me an explanation ever. Uh, but I'll be glad when you come back. Uh, If we don't punish Trump, the next one will be far more dangerous. I agree. I agree. I think that's true. I think that if he doesn't do time, it's, it's a bad precedent. But I also think uh, I also think that tendency 
uh, of protecting the institution of the presidency may override it. Um, I don't know. I could be wrong because Georgia, of all places, seems really mad. <laughs> so maybe there because he did things that impacted the political elite there. So – Let's see. How do you keep track of everything? I read all the time and I don't sleep very much. So uh, I get asked that a lot on Twitter. Like I'm posting something at 3 a.m. and people are like, do you ever sleep? Not really. <laughs> um, let's see. Wow. Okay. So the slow mode does work. It, it makes things a whole lot easier to navigate through everything. Um, thank you, James Lewis. What are some rural areas that are more liberal? Mm, maybe thinking about leaving Missouri. Um. Maybe northern Okaloosa County. That I, I, I don't know. Uh, that's, that's a hard thing. I would look for rural areas that are just outside of major cities. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Miss Honeybee. Thank you, Xavier Lesby. Thoughts on cryptocurrency and the environmental impact, chronic shortage of graphics card and other uses. Um, I, I like the idea of cryptocurrency because it moves us beyond it takes things out of the national realm and it moves it to something that is independent of a state me philosophically i like that i think that's a good idea uh in premise the way cryptocurrency is executed currently <laughs> there's probably something better <laughs> i would hope that there's something better that we'll come up with, that they'll come up with. This isn't, uh, you know, I, I'm over here having a hard time figuring out how to adjust slow mode on a YouTube live stream. As far as the technical aspects of cryptocurrency, probably not something that I'm really qualified to speak on. Philosophically, I like the idea of currency that isn't tied to a state, that isn't tied to a nation. Um, but there are a lot of environmental impacts because of how long the transition or the transactions take and stuff like that that have to be taken into consideration. So, well, that's it's it's one of those things where it's good, but it's it's early. We'll see how it all shapes out. Thank you, a lumpy horse. Thank you, Brandon Peterson. Read my master's paper on domestic security. Um, uh, maybe go ahead and send it over. <laughs> um, depends on how long it is. Uh, nil, nil. Thank you. Jimbo Canada, $2,000 a month with UBI bill now in parliament. Poverty wiped out. Basically free med. Yeah. I, UBI is another one of those things I have mixed feelings on because it, it does require the nation state to function properly and all of that. I kind of like, I'm like, ah, but at the same time, what's going on right now isn't working. <laughs> and if we can make things better as we incrementally move in the right direction, I'm not opposed to it. Um, generally speaking, anything that gets people out of poverty is good in my opinion. Thank you, Julio Ruha. Thank you, Keith Davies. <laughs> Thank you, Kit You See. Are there any plans that you know of to combat the pile of voting restriction bills that are popping up in multiple states? Yeah, there's the federal legislation that uh, that they're looking at. That's going to strike down a lot of it. I think when Democrats said it was strategic not to oppose these and to just let them get through. I think the plan is to let them get through quickly and then take them to court and get them defeated prior to 2022. 
I think that's what they're they're hoping to do. Um, I don't know that that's necessarily the best way to do it, but I think that's their plan. A lot of these restrictions and regulations that they're they're trying to impose aren't going to make it through a, a court challenge. Some will, some won't. And a lot of the ones that they're enacting, like here in Florida, some of the stuff that they're trying to put forth, they're basing it all off of what Trump said. If they limit mail-in voting here, they're hurting themselves. Um, it's normally older conservative people here who do it. So I'm like, yeah, go ahead, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, implement right choice voting. That is definitely a, uh, that's definitely something that this country probably needs to look at. Um, let's see. Looks like we have locked up. Oh, no. Okay. I've got a, I'm scrolling back up to, uh, to find what happened. It just jumped all the way down to the bottom, but slow mode is definitely easier to manage. Okay. How do you build an internet person here? Have you, how far North in Michigan have you been? Uh, Flint, I think is as far up as I've gone. Um, V8 muffler boy. Trump is a symptom, not the disease. True. Heavy palms. Thank you. Appreciate you and all you bring to this. Cheers from the radical liberal in Georgia. That's right. Uh, NLA. Any upcoming vids on gardening for the roads with Bo? Yeah, hopefully um, we're going to show people how to do raised beds and do container gardening. So anybody can do it and maybe even some stuff in bags. Uh, we're going to have to see how all of that lines up. We have a whole lot of projects. Basically we started the on the road stuff and then the whole public health thing hit. So we couldn't go anywhere. So we started other projects at, to kind of fill in the gap. Once we realized it was going to take a while. Now things are clearing up. It looks like we're going to be traveling again and all of the other projects are starting to kick in all at the same time. It's going to make for a couple of interesting months, that's for sure. I was in your first 100,000 subscribers. Do you think we need to have open skies reinstated? It would be nice. Um, I'm hoping that Biden's actually going to take it in a different direction and actually move towards disarmament. A lot of the people on his foreign policy team are very in favor of that. So we'll we'll see. Um, if not, if they're not going to go that way, then yeah, it needs to be reinstated. Um, April Shadows, thank you. I have to get some thoughts on what to expect once the Chauvin verdict is in. Um, yeah, I think we all know what... what I'm going to hold my statements on that <laughs> for a little bit. I'm going to, I would expect a repeat of, of what happened in Ferguson. That that's honestly my gut. That's what's going to happen. Um, and, and it's, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Sydney. Can you recommend a book to learn more about those Irish militant groups? I can't say that. Um, <laughs> I think the relationship between the, a political party and militant group might be important to learn about. Anything by Tim Pat Coogan is pretty good. Um, if you want to learn about the early days, uh, I would definitely look into him, and he has a whole bunch of stuff. It is dense reading, just a warning, but you will walk away from it knowing a whole lot. So that, that's where I would start. And given the fact that I almost never give recommendations like that, that's definitely a good one. 
just be prepared. He includes, rather than quotes, he'll include entire letters. Um, so it, it is dense reading. I love privacy. Thank you. If stress is keeping you awake, don't feel any pressure from us. Sleep is most. Oh, no, I've always been. Well, I mean, not always, but I've been like this for like 15 years. <laughs> this is not. It's just me at this point. Uh Odd Soul, thank you. Hello and good night from Norway. Thank you, Ron Scott. Lori Babb. You know, so there are people who are opposed to the tax credit thing because it's seen as only helping people who are having kids. Um, and yeah, I mean, that is true, but the point of these type of programs, especially once it switches and there, there are monthly payments involved, it's not really about, uh, it's not really specifically about the people getting the money. The fact is that it's being spent when it gets spent, it generates more economic activity, which causes more jobs, which there's this whole domino effect that goes on. I think it was marketed as people just, I think it was marketed in the way it was and, and impacting just those with kids because it's easier to get through. <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll see. I, I, to me, this is an experiment. This is them seeing how effective it is. So, looks like it went the other way. Lori Bob. Thank you, Shane Sanders. Can you make a video on the deck clock and your thoughts on it, especially those for those of us who read The Creature from Jekyll Island? <laughs> um, maybe that's a little outside the scope of what I normally do here, but I may... If that's something that people are interested in, I may start dropping in little tidbits about it in various videos. Um, so, Autumn Stars, I've never caught you live. Good to see you. Well, thank you. You too. Martin Winsky, thank you. Hey, Bo, if history rhymes, do you think the U.S. was more in tune with late 1920s Germany or Russia, or 1900s Russia? That is yet to be decided. That is yet to be decided. Um, what happens over the next two years is going to be incredibly important for how this country shakes out. If... If we end up just reverting back to the way things have been, it's not going to be good. It will not be good. Um, thank you, Ashaka Gray. Thank you, James Bramlett. Type of AVs and Miss Bo. Thanks to her, by the way, for her first responder service. Own. Also, I expect a ton of discourse against Biden. Yeah. Not much yet. Uh, you're probably going to get some because I'm doing one about the current handling of the border situation. <laughs> A great plan isn't enough. You actually have to make it work. <laughs> um, let's see. Weezer cannot wait for more on the On the Road channel. Yeah, we should have one coming out soon that is about – it lays out the groundwork on how to start a community network because that's going to be a, be a big piece of that. So we need to have the 101. Like there's already a video over there on like how to fundraise for it, but we don't have one on how to actually set one up yet. Um, did you know Biden advised Bernie's campaign in 2016? I did not. Thank you, Philip 12. Do you think people will realize that the child tax credit exists and that people will take advantage of it or will most people not realize it and not connect it to democratic legislation? Oh, I think they're going to definitely realize it. Um, starting in July, there are people who will be getting monthly payments from it. 
Um, so I definitely think that's going to be something that once that rolls out, people are going to understand and they're going to connect it back to this legislation, one that was unanimously opposed by the Republican Party. Uh, thank you, Ed Banger. I see Feinstein's assault weapons ban as being technically unenforceable. Most of those laws are. <laughs> um <coughs> Do you think we'd be better off dealing with mental health and poverty? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Most at this point, most gun laws that are being suggested, they're they're unenforceable. Um, you can't it's the box is already open, you know. Uh, there's not much that they're gonna be able to do on that. They can try, but first I don't think any of that's getting through to be completely honest, because the whole of the Republican Party is going to vote against it, and there are pro-gun Democrats. There are pro-gun Democrats who will vote against it. I don't think it will get through. Um, the only thing that I think has a chance is the background checks, which, I mean, most pro-gun people are like, yeah, whatever. I mean, that's not cool. We don't want that, but mm, um, so... We'll, we'll see. But yeah, I, I definitely think a bigger focus should be put on changing the culture within the gun community um, and dealing with poverty. With mental health, That's those other things feed into that. Mental health alone doesn't trigger violence. It, it's the other stuff. It's all together. If you want to approach it holistically, yes. My, I'm always concerned when people say mental health because most people don't include poverty in it like you did. Um, and I, I just don't want it to become scapegoated in that way. Have you got your shot yet? No. <laughs> um, I am healthy, not at risk, all of that stuff. So I'm at the bottom of the list. And I don't want it to rush out and try to get mine when there are people who still need them. But I cannot wait. Timothy Ball. Are you ever going to do a fun chat without politics? Uh, maybe. I mean, y'all determine the questions here. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, maybe we could do one where it's a live stream and there are no political questions allowed or something like that. How can we get critical thinking taught in schools nationwide as a subject? I wish you would talk about fallacies more and when they are being used. I am actually planning a, a video that uses nothing but Tom Cotton tweets to explain logical fallacies. <laughs> um, so that's coming, actually. Um, but uh, how are we going to get it taught in our nation's schools? Yeah, that's a lot of lobbying. Um, it, that's it, Realistically, that's going to be up to the teachers. They're, they're just going to have to slide it in and teach people to ask the, 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 the journalist questions, you know, who, what, when, where, and why. Are you aware of the situation in London? Vaguely. I, I don't have all the details on it because honestly, I'm waiting for, uh, I'm kind of gearing up because I have a feeling we're about to have a very similar scenario here with, with a trial, with something that's happening in the U.S. But I, I'm aware of what's going on, and uh, we may get a video out about it. I'm not sure because there there are some points that definitely need to be uh, repeated in the United States. Uh I gotta do that scroll up thing. It's weird because it used to jump down and now it jumps. <laughs> uh, let's see, hang on one second. Uh, definitely gonna have to start talking faster. Okay. Thank you, Detroit Microsound. To sharpen someone's point further, America manufactured Trump. Yeah. He, he saw the openings and played into it. Um, absolutely. Created the situation for him to exist. Fred Durham, thank you. Bose Einstein, thank you. Will Iran deal? 
get through before their elections. No clue. No clue. Um, Gandalf, do you think UBI will happen under the Biden administration? Uh, total UBI, no. I don't even think that's in the cards. Um, only did, you figured out slow mode. Yeah. <laughs> it only took two years. Um, so Weezer, do you have an entire room for all the shirts? How big is it? I, I have a lot of uh, closets <laughs> that, are, that are full. Um, there is my wife actually counted them for people on Twitter the other day, and I don't remember what the final count was, but and it is constantly growing. So, Julie Crabble, thank you. Mike Bruna wanted to help you get that next school t shirt. Nice, <laughs> Casey Pendragon. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to be able to maintain my Patreon and trust you, and you're set up to make good use of the funding. Keep on keeping the faith. Once we are on the road, I think people are going to be really happy with, we've put a lot into setting up the logistics, getting the plan, setting up the logistics before we go and do it, <laughs> um, which is going to be a theme this week, I think, in some videos. <laughs> but uh, I, I think people are going to be really happy about it because we've, we've got the people mostly in place to really be able to get out there and respond to stuff when it happens. Um, Timothy Ball, thank you. I see Tom Burton has a new song out on YouTube. I haven't seen it yet. Man, during the uh, couple months ago, he, he was actually in the area, and I wanted to meet up with him, but with the public health stuff and then also scheduling, we didn't get to. It was kind of it was a little irritating, to be honest. It was completely my fault, too. Um, but if y'all don't know, there are a lot of... Uh, little lines that I dropped that come from his music. Uh, his name's Tom Burton on YouTube. Um, the moving forest. Did you see where the Oklahoma DA charged? Yes. Charged five cops uh, with first degree manslaughter in that shooting. And uh, that was one that I was like, when I first heard about it, I'm like, they're going to have to, um, like my understanding of what went down there is, is, is they didn't have a choice, but to charge. Um, so we'll, I'm interested to see how it plays out in Oklahoma though. Is Miss Bo the nice black lady we saw on one of your skits. I'm not sure. Um, no, uh, my wife's white. Um, I'm trying to figure out who you're talking about though. There's a couple. Oh, you're probably talking about T in the brunch video. Um, no, but she has a channel on YouTube, so definitely check her out. It's good stuff. Uh, I wound up on like meeting her via YouTube because YouTube kept re recommending her channel, which was weird because it used to be a beauty channel, and I kept getting all these weird things that popped up in my thing saying, you know, recommended for you, and it's talking about like how to braid my hair and stuff. And so I finally clicked on one and then looked at the channel because it just kept popping up over and over again. And YouTube was recommending older videos from a channel that was now very political. If you like this channel, you would probably like hers. Thank you, Gabrielle. Would you go on Fox to debate Tucker Carl's? <laughs> Uh, I don't really think that does any good, to be honest. I don't think minds get changed during debates like that. I think people just root for their side. I think the slower put the information out, they stumble upon it when they need it for RWB. Maybe. Uh, I mean, maybe. <laughs> Cody Baker, thank you. The only way Tucker Carlson can redeem himself 
for his military opinion is to eat the veggie omelet and Maurice for a week. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> he didn't kill anybody. <laughs> uh Lauren of Paris, thank you. Beacon of Weird, thank you. Do you have a, a rule of thumb for how you determine if a government restriction is necessary? Uh, I start by assuming it's not. <laughs> I just generally today, I assume most laws are unnecessary and then work backwards. Um, we don't have a lot of need for more legislation when it comes to regulating individuals' behavior. That isn't our issue anymore. Uh, we have laws on the books for pretty much everything. So, James Bramlett, okay, protests, political, woke, rock, and um, man, that could be a list. And I like Rising I would definitely check out Tom Burton if that's your thing. That just came up. Um, I do like rage. I like, I like body count. Um, <laughs> there, there's, there's quite a few things that, that I like. Thank you, Petri. Is the painted big brick background actually painted bricks or digital? Neither. It's paper. Uh, it's a photo backdrop. Bo is now going to become a fashion influence. Uh, Alex Martin, 1022 or Model 60? <laughs> when I, I learned on a Model 60, just <laughs> so you know. Uh, Antonio Miller, Fort Worth is sending no cop teams to some calls. That's cool. That's We're going to have to start moving. To, we're going to have to start moving towards that more and more often. Um How many kids do you have? Uh, I have four in the house, like right now. <laughs> I have more. It really depends on how you count them because over the years, there were a lot of unofficial adoptions that occurred. <laughs> um, so if you're counting all of them that at some point I helped finance, guide, let live with me, whatever, um, I don't know, six maybe. It, yeah, a lot. Uh, let's see. Okay. What is more possible, the Dems increasing their majority or Republicans taking control? Depends on whether or not they stick to this plan and whether or not it plays out. The party has a plan right now that they are using to kind of set up for the midterms. If it works, it's going to be a big gain. If it doesn't, then I don't know that we're going to see a huge shift. Um, I don't think there's going to be a pendulum swing back to the Republicans. They, they don't seem to have their stuff together yet. Keith Davies, thank you. I got the vaccine. Got a bit before protected, but I'm also healthy and shouldn't have went before others, <laughs> but some skipped their second dose and they were open. If you get the chance, get it. Uh, thank you, Deanna Turner. Thank you, BC. What news sources do you use or trust? I don't trust any. I tend to start with AP and Reuters, stuff like that. And then I read a lot of right-wing news sites to get their take on it. And then just kind of uh, work backwards. I normally, with most stuff, I start at the opposite end of where most do. Are you going to run for office? No. No, that is not in the cards for me. Let's see. Little noisemaker, thank you. Hey, Bo, exploring the topic of the world we, of the word we don't say here. <laughs> and I'm wondering how an economy would work under that. Oh, wow. Okay, so there are a whole bunch of different theories on that. Um, the easiest way to do this is to type in the word we don't say 
and along with uh, color codes. And you're going to get a whole bunch of red and black, yellow and black, orange and black. Um, there's going to be a bunch of them. Most of that relates to different economic systems that exist. Um, that's And that's a big hang up. Um, I personally think it would be very, very blended, very blended. Um, but that's, that's, it's a long way off. And it's, I think that by the time we get there, the economic theories that currently exist aren't really going to matter that much. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where you're going to have to start. Serenity 6831. Yes. That's, that's who I was talking about. Um, I'm fairly certain if I said her channel name on my channel because of me, I don't know that YouTube would let that slide. <laughs> um, but yes, that is who I'm talking about. And she's great. Definitely uh, very confident in her opinions. And she backs him up in her way. Um, Neverman is here reading recommendations. Constitution, rise and fall of the Roman Empire, confessions of an economic hitman. Any thanks. The happy to be on Patreon. It's necessary listening. I hope you get millions of viewers, plus or minus 74 million in particular, need to hear your voice. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, when we get to a million, I, I will be just enthralled. I'd be so happy and so excited. And so that's uh, th this whole thing has been a real surprise for me. <laughs> uh, thank you, John Burlick. How will the Dems, Dems do well in 2022? If the strategy works, it's a good strategy. I don't know what can disrupt it other than Biden just messing up in a huge way or something just out of the. Uh, uh, something that would be outside of planning, some kind of event that really doesn't have much to do with those in power that has to shape things. So let's see. I like a book. Keep up the most insightful, critical political comments in American politics. Your channel is such a. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Debbie Lee. Thank you, James Bramlett. Going on the road. <laughs> yeah. What's the difference between an activist? And a, is that really a question they're asking? That would, uh, wow. Man. You're occasionally losing bandwidth. That's unsurprising. I am so far out in the boonies. Um, but hopefully, as we revamp the shop like we talked about earlier and get the new setup this will change we will be moving to more hardline stuff so okay The Vigilante. Donating to see how you pronounce my name. It's different every time. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. It says the connection is unstable. Okay. So I'm going to try to fly through these as quick as possible. We may end up losing this feed again. Um, given how infosec types have been discussing how cryptocurrency crypto purchases are not as anonymous as initially advertised, think states will now sponsor crypto. I'm not sure. Um, I think that if they make if they can make money off of it, if they can find some way to tap it for their own ends, they'll sponsor it. Taylor Bland, can you be my dad? <laughs> yeah, that's that's. I guess that's my my place on YouTube. <laughs> Um, Mandy, Sa Mandy Sadlow, thank you. How similar do you consider the political mindset of you and Carrie Wedler? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you know this. Carrie actually works with me. <laughs> um, we have a lot of heated discussions. 
we are in the same general direction on a lot of things. We have very different approaches and what, <laughs> and what we think is the, uh, the right way to, to get there and what needs to happen along the way. Um, Carrie and I have been friends for years, um, but there are definitely uh, political conflicts that occur. But now she's, uh, she, I mean, she's uh, lost the thing again. says it's unstable. Okay, we're back. Uh, I'm not sure how much of the, that you've heard. Carrie and I are friends. We have been friends for a very long time. She helps out on this channel. Um, like she'll edit videos and she does all the captioning for Instagram. And she is also somebody who is one of those voices who constantly pushes me to be a little more radical. Um, we have a very similar baseline in where we want to go with differences that occur along the way as far as economic systems and stuff like that. But generally we, we work well together and we have known each other for, I don't even know how long. I don't even know how long. Um, it's been a while that we've been working with each other. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Joe Shalom. Our infrastructure is in shambles. What do you think about a federal gas tax increase to pay to rebuild it? Uh, I think it's going to, I think we're actually going to need more, uh, more re redistributing of the funds that they already have rather than more, more taxes. They have a lot of issues right now with what they're spending money on. Um, I think, we're going to need to cut defense and move to more practical commercial infrastructure. Uh, bombastic, late to the party, but what is your opinion of the recently proposed? I think it's uh, the, again, the assault weapons ban. I, I don't think it's going to be enforceable the way people seem to think that it is. And I also don't think it's going to pass. So I'm not really putting much, uh, I'm not really putting much effort into watching that. I don't think it's going to get through. The Republicans aren't going to vote for it, and there are pro-gun Democrats. So, let's see. Thoughts on Navalny's arrests and its effect? Uh, I think it's political posturing. Biden wants to return the U.S. as a moral authority in the world, wants to cast that image. Um, Pat Stelzer... Thank you. Alexander speaks. Thank you. People think Biden's bill only helps parents. Don't get the part. Don't get there's a part uh, expanding EIC for people making less than 40K. Tax preparer said I'd get 700 back instead of paying seven. There you go. I didn't actually know that. Uh, Finfan33, thank you. Eric Nielsen, thank you. Andy H., thank you. Okay. There we go. Thank you, Rosemary. Thank you, Deborah Norman. Please continue. I will. I'm going to do this for as long as I can. Alan Moser, thank you. <laughs> Seems like it's locking up again. Thank you, John Whitson. Thank you, Gray1213. I mean, I guess it works that way, too. <laughs> okay. Evening, Bo. Wanted to send a bit to help your efforts. Have you ever done... Or plan to do a vid on how the GOP became the current GOP. I have a video about the party switching, about the Southern strategy and all of that. I think I need to do one that explains what happened under Reagan. Um, that may be something that's coming soon, probably before 
before the 2022 campaign heats up. So Paul Gennardi, Kentucky is a Commonwealth, not a state. And you know, I know that. I actually know that. And I did. I said that not just today, but in another recent video. <laughs> um, thank you, Mel. Um, uh, probably going to end this soon or it will end on its own. Thank you, Tamers. Thank you, Liam Daly. Do you listen to classical music? If so, any favorites um i will listen to classical music i don't have any favorites um, and that's more something that gets put on in the background and i don't really pay attention to it uh, it's also a rare thing i kind of have to be in a mood for that uh, thank you bahi yundan Dr. Claude Anderson has proposed a high-speed rail running through the South, controlled by black people in the South. What do you think? I think I need a whole lot more on that than I have right now to have an opinion. I am in favor of high-speed rail. I am in, and if this is a method of generating something that generates income. specifically generational generational wealth issue yeah i mean that could work i i would have to look into the details though um why 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 i don't like society <laughs> uh how do you decompress from all of this as odd as this sounds this is my decompression <laughs> what what i yeah this channel actually helps me decompress uh Keith Davies, a bit more towards your internet. Same problem here, but don't broadcast. <laughs> the blah, thank you. Andrew, thank you. Beethoven. Beethoven. Uh, Michelle Small, thank you. There is also $86 billion to stabilize union pensions in the bill. Yeah, that's going to help a lot of people, but that's not, I don't, that's going to be one of those things that nobody knows where it came from, didn't even know it happened. Um, so, but it is something that's definitely going to help. Ashley Fox, thank you. John Whitson, thank you. Do you think we will have additional mask mandates in the future since it eliminated the flu season? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think that that's going to happen. I think what it will eventually occur is people starting to do it on their own. I would hope, I would hope become socially unacceptable to wear one. I'm just going to continue doing it. Um, thank you, John Gogo. Hey, Bo. My progressive circle won't stop talking about Biden being the new deporter in chief by sharing numbers I can't verify and ignoring all of Biden's good moves. Could you do a video on that? Yeah, I've, I've got one planned that I'm going to be doing, talking more about what has gone wrong with his plan, because he has a good plan, but the infrastructure wasn't there. And anyway, um, as far as deporter in chief, the numbers, yeah, he's going to have high numbers for the first few months of sending people back because those people who come that um, aren't, aren't actually seeking asylum. And that's, I think that's a big part of the misunderstanding is that not every migrant is an asylum seeker and asylum seekers have an entirely different set of rules. Um, so I think those who are coming and come because we had a whole bunch of people who were blocked from coming by them not processing asylum claims. Now there's a whole bunch of people coming in. So his numbers are probably going to be high for the first few months. Um, and I don't think there's anything that anybody can do about that. But at the same time, I would be leery of any numbers that you're getting right now because I don't know that any have been released. So unless, as far as deportations, I don't know that any have been released. You In most of the deportations that are occurring right now, the process would have started before he took office. Um Nira Betts, if you were forced to design a video game, what do you think it would be like mechanically or be about thematically?
I can honestly say I have, um, I will give it some thought and, and maybe that'll turn into a video. we just got here. What are we helping? Today is just for fun. Going into general fund. I have no idea what we're going to use it for. <laughs> um, Neverman is here. If we agreed on everything, life would be boring. I agree with most things you talk about. Westboro Baptist Church and water balloons. Yeah, I, I think that if that's about Carrie and I, <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's what it boils down to. We do have some some drag out arguments that will last hours <laughs> at times but it's healthy um i don't know that i have a better as far as like anybody on like the team that i work with or have worked with for years i don't know that i have a better working relationship with anybody um but yeah there is there are definitely some some arguments that occur frequently, and that's good. You're not supposed to agree on everything. If everybody agrees on everything, that means that everybody's wrong because it's room for change. So, uh, thoughts on DeSantis? I really hope he's not reelected. Is it life? Long gamer and someone with a game programming degree, I would love to see a video about your ideas for a video game. <laughs> All right, I'll I will that's I will throw that in there. Um, Bernita Th Thalen, thank you. Do you collect GI Joe classified six inch collectibles? Um, I don't most of the ones that i have are three and a quarter like from the olden days um and now people have sent me some i don't know if y'all are aware i got uh i got a package recently that had gi joes in it and somebody just gave me two destros i it's it's weird like i'm i'm totally not opposed to this if if that's i, I think it's cool Uh, we're locked up again. But, oh, are we back? Creed WTR, thank you. Recently did a book trade with a coworker. He recommended Rage and he recommended Unmasked. We both read each other's books. Or I recommended Rage. He recommended Unmasked. It did not go well. <laughs> what, what is a better way to introduce journalistic ethics? Um, man, I don't know. Um, have them read... Hunter S. Thompson's stuff about journalism specifically, not necessarily his work, but he, he talked a lot about journalism in general and how it's not really objective no matter what. And But the goal should be to get to truth rather than support your preconceived position. Um, please listen to a song, Sage Francis, Makeshift Patriot. I am familiar with that. Um, I am familiar. That is a cool song. He's actually got a lot of stuff um, that is worth listening to okay so I, I definitely think that we're closing out here don't be delusional wrong DeSantis is the next Donald Trump uh, yeah. oh for all the Hunter Thompson fans I don't know if y'all can see that it looks like it's locked up right now that's <laughs> Um, okay. Why pest us? Thank you. Happy pie day. Okay. So I think we're going to wrap it up right now. Um, mainly because I am locking up. I don't know what y'all are seeing, but on this end, I'm locking up like every five seconds. So I don't even know if y'all are seeing this, but, uh, we're, we're, we're going to go ahead and wind it down. I hope everybody enjoyed it. And, uh, 
it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.